It is a cause for celebration that people in Ireland are living longer and remaining healthy as they do so. The vast majority of older people live happy, independent and fulfilling lives. A small number of older people need care and this care is provided by relatives and professionals in a responsible and loving way. However, some older people do suffer abuse and the risk of abuse increases as people become more dependent or their health deteriorates. Everybody has the right to lead a life of dignity, free from abuse, regardless of their ethnic or cultural background, religion, political persuasion, gender, sexual orientation, disability or age. All older people have a right to be supported to live a meaningful life connected to family and friends. All of us who have regular contact with older people have an important role to play in protecting and promoting this right. Abuse of older people can be perpetrated by anyone. This programme focuses on abuse in relationships where there is an expectation of trust. It has been designed to help people to recognise the signs of elder abuse and to know what practical steps to take if elder abuse is suspected or discovered. There is often a great deal of stress for carers, especially lone carers, and this can result in unacceptable behaviour patterns, even among the well-intentioned. Sometimes people don't realise they are committing acts of abuse and the behaviour just needs to be highlighted for it to end. People experiencing abusive treatment are apt to protect or excuse their abusers or conceal the abuse, particularly when it happens in the context of a family relationship. Early intervention can be a relief for both parties and can help restore relationships. It can prevent the abuse from becoming more severe and it can lead to increased supports, better coping strategies and respite for carers. Getting as much information as possible and seeking support can alleviate the problem of abuse or better still, avoid it entirely. While some of the storylines in this programme may be distressing to viewers, all the scenarios have been portrayed by professional actors. If you are concerned or affected by the content of this programme, please contact the HSE. Call Save the HSE information line on 1850 24 1850, Monday to Saturday, 8am to 8pm. This confidential service will provide you with the details of the HSE staff in your local area who can assist you. Or visit the website www.hse.ie or email info at hse.ie. The Working Group on Elder Abuse produced a report called Protecting Our Future in 2002. That report defines elder abuse as a single or repeated act or lack of appropriate action occurring within any relationship where there is an expectation of trust which causes harm or distress to an older person or violates their human or civil rights. Protecting Our Future recognises six types of abuse. They are Physical abuse, sexual abuse, psychological abuse, financial abuse, neglect and acts of omission, and discrimination. In order to understand and identify abuse, we need to be observant and think broadly so we do not overlook situations of abuse or accept certain behaviours as normal. The next section of the programme is made up of stories that are fictional but are based on real cases and incidents of elder abuse reported to the HSE. Oh, you could at least try and stay awake. Oh. It's not as if you had to do any of the work. Uh. Look at her. Uh. Oh, she's here, finally. Now don't you go making a show of yourself. Hello, darling. Hello, Daddy. Hello. <laughs> Sit down, love, and tell me how the flight was. Oh, it's great that you're finally home for good. I wish you could live a bit nearer. Oh, me too, but I'll visit whenever I can. I know is that. Is Daddy not having any tea? Oh, he'd only spill it. Drinking with straws is all he can manage these days. He's such a burden. It's become a full-time job. Excluding people from conversation and talking about them disparagingly as though they aren't present is a warning sign.
People who express indifference or anger towards the person they care for or who blame that person for their own problems may also resort to taking out their anger on the vulnerable person in their care. Early intervention can lead to better supports for the carer and repair the relationship between the carer and the dependent person. Oh, will you turn the television on? My programme is on at eight. I don't want the television on. I've had a hectic day. Ah, oh, Hilda, come on, please. I have to do everything around here. I'm entitled to a little quiet time. Oh. Will you help me up? I'm going to go to bed. I said I needed a bit of peace and quiet. Can you not sit still and leave me alone? Is everything all right? I heard shouting. Oh. <laughs> Daddy and I just had a silly argument. It's no picnic, you know. <laughs> just a silly argument. You look great. That's a new coat, is it? Oh, it's just something I picked up before I came home. Well, it's lovely on you. It's very nice. It really suits you. Scolding someone for needing help or belittling their physical decline is a form of abuse. Withholding treats like a favourite TV programme or meal is a form of abuse. Dependent people will often excuse or conceal the fact that they are being mistreated. Intervention can help restore relationships that have been damaged by abuse. Hilda! In a minute, Dan. I need to go to the toilet. In a minute, Dan. Oh, no. Oh. Now, you want to get up. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Not this. I can't take any more. I'm sorry, Hill. Oh, why couldn't you hold on? I just wanted one minute to make the tea. I can't take any more of this. You're not the man I married. Look, don't leave me like this, Hill. Let me have my tea. You won't be getting anything to drink after four o'clock anymore. I can't be up and down day and night getting you to the bathroom. Neglecting basic needs is a form of abuse. Violence or the threat of violence is a form of physical and psychological abuse. Withholding food and drink is an act of omission. This is a form of abuse. If you see signs that someone is malnourished, dehydrated, shabbily dressed, has body odours, or if they appear to be neglected in other ways, you should be alert to the possibility of abuse. Bedtime. Huh? Come on, up. Oh, well, take it easy. Uh, You're hurting me. Uh, 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 let's see. Oh, Dan. Stay away from me. Don't hurt me. Dad, what's happened? Your father's had a fall. I think I've broken my arm. Oh. Hello, I need an ambulance. What's your address? It's 2 Westbrook Rise. Ambulance on the way, okay? Thank you. It's all right, Dad. The ambulance is on its way. She hates me. She did this to me. We need to talk about this. I didn't mean to hurt. You should have told me you were finding it too much. In this scenario, the abuse escalated from mild physical and psychological abuse, handling the older person roughly, and speaking of his physical decline mockingly, to neglect and cruelty. Intervention can be a relief to both the abused and the abuser. If the difficulties Hilda was encountering had been identified earlier, appropriate supports could have been put into place. If you know an older person who is at risk or you suspect is being abused, or if you are a person who is at risk or is being abused, you can call save the HSE information line on 1850 24 1850, Monday to Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. This confidential service will provide you with the details of the HSE staff in your local area who can assist you. Or visit the website www.hse.ie or email info at hse.ie. How are you doing? Sean, how are you? Come in. This way. Now, this is Mum. 
Ma'am, this is Mr. Carey, the solicitor I was telling you about. Oh. Mrs. Scan. Lily, is it? How do you do? Sean has explained to me that you want to sign your house over in his name. Is that correct? Yeah. Oh, this good girl. You were saying how much you wanted to help. You know how hard times are for the business. The thing is, while the house is in your name, it's no use to anyone, is it? Oh, but if you were to sign the house over to me, well, I could use it to help the business. Everything would be the same for you. You'd still be living here. And, and I'd still be here, taking care of you. If you just, just sign it there like a good girl. Well, I'd like to read it first. Uh, maybe talk to somebody. Mr Carey is here now. The whole thing's very straightforward. What would happen if the business failed? I'd have to go away. You'd be here on your own. Who'd take care of you? What would happen if you had an accident? A shock. Just sign it. It's for the best. Well, let me read it at least. Brenda will be here tomorrow. She'll know who to ask for advice. Who's Brenda? I thought your mum had sought advice on this already. Oh, Brenda's my friend from the community centre. She visits me. After everything I've done for you, you put more store in her than me. I don't want to see that Brenda one here again. Poking her nose in, passing remarks. Sean, this is no way to do business. You need, you need to calm down. Let's, let's talk that. Let's talk later. Yeah. Mrs. Scanlon, the house is yours. You don't have to sign any document that you don't understand. I strongly suggest that you seek independent legal advice. And remember, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Thank you. Thanks very much. Talking to an older person as though they are a child or speaking threateningly to a person is a form of elder abuse. There's a good girl. You're saying how you wanted to help. Isolating someone from people who care about him or her is a form of elder abuse. Pressuring someone to sign over property is wrong. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she can count on me. That's what I'm here for. Yeah, hold on there a second, will you? Oh, not again, Sean. Will you leave me enough for the hairdressers tomorrow? Please. Will you be down the clubhouse later? Don't worry about that. Shall I buy you a point? Or ten, this is you. <laughs> oh, Sean. Sean, wait, will you bring in some cold? The, the fire's dying. Yeah. Yeah, I will. See you then, yeah. Hello? Oh, Brenda. <laughs> yeah. No, listen, I, I don't want to go to the hairdresser tomorrow. I know I said I did, but, um, no. I'd just rather stay at home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, talk to you soon. Okay, thanks. Bye. People with an alcohol or drug dependency problem are more likely to be abusive and also require money on a regular basis. People are reluctant to name family members as their abusers. It takes vigilance to notice and courage to report abuse in a familial setting. Taking money from an older person without their express consent is a form of abuse. It's their money and theirs to do with as they please. Be alert to an older person who is unusually short of money, not being able to contribute or cancelling regular outings, possibly for want of money. Don't wait, don't, don't wait, the rabbit. Don't wait, the rabbit. I found him on the road. <laughs> Had to help him home. Sean. Sean. How are you, Lily? You're looking very well. Oh, could I ask you to shut the door when you go, Frank? I'm sure I will. Frank, <laughs> what are you doing? I just want a little hug. Come Get on, Lily. Away from me. Ah, come on. Uh, don't, you're hurting me. Give, just give us a little Sean. hug. No, come don't, on. Sean, Sean, don't. Sean, help me. Sean, help me. Older people, like anyone else, are entitled to peace, privacy and dignity. Failing to give them that is abuse.
engaging in intimate behaviour that an older person has not consented to is sexual abuse. Hi, Lily. Oh, Brenda, come on in. I just popped by. Here I skipped the hairdresser through. Can I do anything for you? Lily, what's the matter? Lily, are you all right? Did you have a fall? Frank came in with Sean last night and he... <laughs> that looks nasty. Okay. We need advice. I'll ring the HSE information line. Are you all right? <laughs> People participating in community groups or with friends in vulnerable positions can have a special insight into potentially abusive situations. If you are being abused or if you know someone that you suspect is being abused, you can call Save the HSE information line on 1850 24 1850, Mondays to Saturdays, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. This confidential service will provide you with the details of the HSC staff in your local area or visit the website www.hse.ie or email info at hse.ie. Lily, this is Maura from the HSC. Hello, Lily. My name's Maura and I'm a social worker with the HSC and your friend Brenda here has been telling me about what's been going on. Now Lily, I'd like to hear from yourself a wee bit about what's been happening. Well, it's my son, you see. Mm -hmm. He's got very handy at helping himself to my money from my bag. I don't have very much, you know, I only have the pension. Mm -hmm. He's trying to get me to sign over the house to him. And I, I don't understand what that might mean for me, do you know? Yeah. I don't understand anything about right. legal, legal things at all. And then he brought a friend over. Mm -hmm. and the two of them were over and drunk. Okay. And the friend okay. hurt me. Right. Okay, well, we're gonna try and make sure that that doesn't happen again. You're very lucky your friend Brenda's here today, too. Mm. Well, what would you like to see happening, Lily? Well, I don't want to go into a home. No. I want to have my son here. Mm. I just wish he'd stop his carry on. Of course you do, and that's very understandable. And we can help you. We can arrange a meeting for yourself and Sean. And if there's somebody else that you'd like to be here with you. I'd like Brenda to be there. OK, well, that's fine. I could do with some help, keeping the house clean, you know, and myself clean. I don't like to ask Sean. Right. Well, we can arrange for someone to come over to the house and help you. And if there's anything else that you need... Oh, oh. oh that'd be great. Thank you so much. Ow! Margaret, go to your room. You're under my feet. When will Dermot be back? Not till the weekend, and maybe not even then. He has to work all the hours God sends and leaves me here alone, as usual. I'm here. How can I help? Can you cut the hedge? Can you mow the lawn? Can you bring the car to the garage? Can you pay the car insurance? Cook the dinner? Can you organise a holiday for me, do you think? If you brought out a bowl and some vegetables, I could start peeling them and save you. More trouble than it's worth. The most you can do for me is stay out of my way. I can pay the car insurance there. You should have said. Dermot would go mad if he knew I took money from you. Dermot won't know. How much is it? It's, um... 770 euros. God, that's a lot. Everything's a lot. Two kids in college is a lot. 
I could be working full time if it wasn't for... I know, I know. Let's see, who do I make it out to? Make it payable to me. The payment has to come directly from me to the insurance company. I do appreciate this, Margaret. It's just... Pressurising someone to hand over money unwillingly or deceiving an older person into giving you money is financial abuse. When carers are under stress, there may be temptation to take advantage of the other person, whether by relieving feelings of frustration, by bullying, or justifying taking money from them. Dependent people may collude in their own abuse to please their abuser. Intervention can prevent situations like this from worsening. Margaret, I need you to stay in your room this evening. I'll bring you something in on a tray and you can have it in bed. I'd prefer to be in the sitting room and have watch TV. Listen, Margaret, I have friends coming round for dinner this evening, so you stay in your room. Is that clear? Uh, clear? This is my house. Well, I do all the work around here, so you just stay in your room and out of the way, OK? OK, OK. to pay for it. Oh, John, look at me now. Unwelcome in my own home. If Dermot was here, he wouldn't allow this. <laughs> Claire. What is it? I just thought I'd like to come out for a bit. Maybe have a cup of tea. Look, you had the run of the place when I was out today. Just stay in your room. <laughs> Excluding older people from parts of their home or isolating them against their wishes could be considered abuse. Excluding older people from social occasions on grounds of their age or infirmity is discrimination and should be challenged. People who express indifference or anger towards someone in their care are more likely to go on to abuse them in other ways. Early intervention can prevent a situation like this from deteriorating. If you are worried that the situation in which you're living in could become abusive, or if you suspect abuse of a person you know, you can call Save the HSE information line on 1 850 24 1850. Monday to Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. This confidential service will provide you with the details of the HSC staff in your local area who can assist you. Or visit the website www.hse.ie or email info at hse.ie. Can you put that on? I'm going to lock up. It, it's gone. I, I, I can't remember. I'm, I, I don't understand. Roger. So embarrassing. Our oldest friends. And you keep calling her by his ex-wife's name. Look, these little things. I mean, you don't have to.
What's going on? Why are you up? I have to go to the shops. I forgot a few things. No, Grania. It's night time. Mm, it's night time. Come on. I told you before. We've talked about this before. Oh. You can't go to the shops in your nightgown. Come on. You must be properly dressed before you go out. <sighs> People with Alzheimer's or other forms of dementia are particularly vulnerable and are in need of special care. What are you doing, Rania? I told you you have to sleep. I have to go to the shops. No, you're not going to the shops. Come on, you must go back to bed. for good days. Do you remember Karen, the public health nurse from HSE? Hello, Grania. How are you? You missed your last doctor's appointment, so I thought I'd pop in just to see you were doing OK. She was up the whole of the night before, so I rang in and cancelled. Well, I can arrange home visits if getting out to the appointments is becoming too difficult for you. There's no need. What's needed are more pills. Sometimes she's very bad, and I find I, I, I can't cope with her. I'm, I'm very distressed, and I can't sleep when she's like this. It's, Roger, it's very... can you let Grania answer me herself? I told you it's one of her bad days. Grania? Grania, do you know me? Roger, I know you don't have children, so who's helping you, Grania? Oh. I know. It's a lot of work. I can talk to my colleagues, and what I'll do is I'll reassess Grania's needs and see if I can organise some extra help for you both. Okay. Maybe more care hours. Possibly. OK. Carers don't have to cope alone. Noticing when carers are under stress and helping them find support and solutions can mean avoiding situations where abuse can occur. Now, dear, Susanna's out sick, but I've called and found another woman who's going to come and take care of you today. OK. You have a great round of golf. I'll be grand. OK, OK. What's that? Now, this is your minder for today. What's your name again, love? Mary. Mary. Don't go, Roger. Who, who's this? Where's Suzanne? I like Suzanne. She can't get out of that chair without help. Sometimes I put her in there if I want to take a shower, make a cup of tea or something, OK? I should be back about seven or eight, and I've given her a few extra tablets to keep her quiet, you know. And there are some sleeping tablets here if you need to give her one later on, all right? OK. Bye. Bye. Ronya, here's your lunch. Don't make a mess.
Leaving an older person alone for long periods of time is neglect. People who are asked to help with dementia care need specific guidance and information. Oh, you useless article. You have to eat. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yes. Take no. it. Take it. Your husband said you have to take these. Hi, everything okay? Yeah, yeah. I gave her one of those tablets, like you said. She got a bit much for me. I know, I know. If Suzanne isn't here by Friday, can you come at two o'clock? Sure. Okay, thank you. Why did you let that woman into the house? I, I thought she'd left me forever. No, no, that's all right, it's all right. No, that's all right, it's okay. Now try to relax. I know you don't like this chair, but I don't want you to take another fall, okay? Now, time for your tablets. Hi. Roger, I'm glad I caught you. I haven't been able to get you on the phone for a while. It's not a good time. I couldn't get in to see Grania, Roger, and she's missed all her doctor's appointments. She's not a well woman. She's been up again all night, and we just couldn't get round. I appreciate that, and that's why I want to help. We spoke about Grania's reassessment. She shouldn't be in this chair. It's far too low for her, Roger. She's had a fall. It's safer this way. Grania? Grania, hello. She's really not her usual self. I'm concerned about her, Roger. She's so sleepy. I think we need to have her seen by a doctor. Oh. Roger. I, I sometimes give her an extra tablet so she won't become distressed while I'm not here. We need to get you both some help. Immobilising a person or locking someone in a safe room could be considered abusive. Over-medicating an older person to make them docile could be abuse, even if you think it's for their own benefit. Being alert to possible abuse can lead to a solution for the abuser as well as the person at risk of abuse. If you suspect abuse, you can call SAVE the HSE information line on 1850 24 1850, Monday to Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. This confidential service will provide you with the details of the HSE staff in your local area who can assist you. Or visit the website www.hse.ie or email info at hse.ie. International statistics tell us that 3 to 5% of older people are at risk of elder abuse. Both men and women can experience elder abuse. Most referrals to the HSE service cite a family member as the person inflicting the abuse. However, an older person could be at risk in the home from a neighbour, a health visitor, a friend, a relative or a therapist. Physical abuse includes hitting, slapping, pushing, kicking, misuse of medication, inappropriate use of restraints or sanctions. It can be detected where there are bruises, cuts, burns and scratches, and injuries that don't match the explanation given for them. Over-medicating or withholding medication is also physical abuse. Another type of abuse is psychological abuse. This is the most commonly reported form of abuse. Psychological abuse means any act, verbal or non-verbal, that inflicts emotional pain, mental anguish or distress on the older person. This includes making jokes about them because of their appearance or mental state and deliberately excluding and ignoring older people. Signs of psychological abuse might include the person appearing withdrawn, frightened, agitated, anxious, isolated, 
or depressed and there may be unexpected or unexplained changes in behaviour. Financial abuse is another form of abuse. Signs of financial abuse include lack of money for basics like newspaper, sweets or the hairdresser, despite an adequate income. A person complaining about possessions or money going missing, unexplained credit card use or an inability to explain what is happening to the person's income. Older people can be the victims of sexual abuse. Sexual abuse includes rape, sexual assault or sexual acts to which the older person has not consented. Signs of sexual abuse include pain, itching or injury in the genital, anal or abdominal areas and torn, stained or bloody underclothing. Signs might also include changes in behaviour, being depressed, withdrawn, agitated, frightened or nervous. Another form of elder abuse is neglect. Signs of neglect might include a deterioration in appearance or personal hygiene, a non-hygienic or unsafe environment, rashes, sores, ulcers, and unexplained weight loss, inadequate food, drink or medical care, lack of social stimulation. Acts of omission or discrimination are also forms of elder abuse. Okay, Margaret, we can talk quietly here. So would you just like to tell me a little bit about what's been happening? Well, I do love my son, and I appreciate that Claire's under a lot of pressure. But I feel bullied, but I... <laughs> if an older person tells you they're being abused, you should talk to them in a safe and, if possible, private setting. Listen, nod, and make eye contact, but don't ask leading questions. Find out what the abused person wants to do. What would you like to see changing? I'd like to be treated and included like everyone else in the family. If you or someone you know is being abused, talk to someone you trust, your health professional, family doctor, public health nurse, social worker, or anyone at your local health centre, your bank or solicitor, the general manager in your HSE local health office, nursing home owner or nurse in charge, your local guard station, or call save the HSE information line on 1850 24 1850, Monday to Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. This confidential service will provide you with the details of the HSE staff in your local area who can assist you or visit the website www.hse.ie or email info at hse.ie. The HSE treats all concerns in relation to elder abuse seriously and sensitively. Reports of alleged abuse are dealt with in confidence and, as much as possible, in a way that respects the abused person's wishes and privacy. The overall aim of the service is to stop the unwanted behaviour and ensure the person's safety and well-being while supporting or restoring relationships. Supports may be offered to stop the unwanted behaviour and ensure the safety of the older person. This might include home support services, counselling, mediation and conflict resolution, family meetings, monitoring, daycare and respite. These services play an important role in helping those who suffer abuse and their families. The services are designed to help older people become more independent, particularly from their abusers. They offer older people options, keeping them connected to the community, lessening carer stress and enabling the relationship with their abuser to be maintained if wanted. Where needed, services can also be provided to those perpetrating the abuse. The majority of older people in Ireland are living fulfilling, rewarding lives. A small number are at risk of abuse or are being abused. Elder abuse, when it happens, can be hidden. Abuse is likely to escalate unless it is stopped. But early intervention can lead to more supports and a better quality of life for both parties. If you are concerned or affected by the issues raised in this programme, please contact the HSE. Call save the HSE information line on 1850 24 1850. 
Monday to Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. This confidential service will provide you with the details of the HSE staff in your local area who can assist you. Or visit the website www.hse.ie or email info at hse.ie. International statistics tell us that 3 to 5% of older people are at risk of elder abuse. Both men and women can experience elder abuse. Most referrals to the HSE service cite a family member as the person inflicting the abuse. However, an older person could be at risk in the home from a neighbour, a health visitor, a friend, a relative or a therapist. Physical abuse includes hitting, slapping, pushing, kicking, misuse of medication, inappropriate use of restraints or sanctions. It can be detected where there are bruises, cuts, burns and scratches, and injuries that don't match the explanation given for them. Over-medicating or withholding medication is also physical abuse. Another type of abuse is psychological abuse. This is the most commonly reported form of abuse. Psychological abuse means any act, verbal or non-verbal, that inflicts emotional pain, mental anguish or distress on the older person. This includes making jokes about them because of their appearance or mental state and deliberately excluding and ignoring older people. Signs of psychological abuse might include the person appearing withdrawn, frightened, agitated, anxious, isolated or depressed and there may be unexpected or unexplained changes in behaviour. Financial abuse is another form of abuse. Signs of financial abuse include lack of money for basics like newspapers, sweets or the hairdresser despite inadequate income. A person complaining about possessions or money going missing, unexplained credit card use or an inability to explain what is happening to the person's income. Older people can be the victims of sexual abuse. Sexual abuse includes rape, sexual assault or sexual acts to which the older person has not consented. Signs of sexual abuse include pain, itching or injury in the genital, anal or abdominal areas and torn stained or bloody underclothing. Signs might also include changes in behaviour, being depressed, withdrawn, agitated, frightened or nervous. Another form of elder abuse is neglect. Signs of neglect might include a deterioration in appearance or personal hygiene, a non-hygienic or unsafe environment, rashes, sores, ulcers, and unexplained weight loss, inadequate food, drink or medical care, lack of social stimulation. Acts of omission or discrimination are also forms of elder abuse. Okay, Margaret, we can talk quietly here. So would you just like to tell me a little bit about what's been happening? Well, I do love my son. And I appreciate that Claire's under a lot of pressure. But I feel bullied. But I... <laughs> if an older person tells you they're being abused, you should talk to them in a safe and, if possible, private setting. Listen, nod and make eye contact. But don't ask leading questions. Find out what the abused person wants to do. What would you like to see changing? I'd like to be treated and included like everyone else in the family. If you or someone you know is being abused, talk to someone you trust, your health professional, family doctor, public health nurse, 
social worker or anyone at your local health centre, your bank or solicitor, the general manager in your HSE local health office, nursing home owner or nurse in charge, your local Garda station, or call save the HSE information line on 1850 24 1850, Monday to Saturday, 8am to 8pm. This confidential service will provide you with the details of the HSC staff in your local area who can assist you. Or visit the website www.hse.ie or email info at hse.ie. The HSE treats all concerns in relation to elder abuse seriously and sensitively. Reports of alleged abuse are dealt with in confidence and, as much as possible, in a way that respects the abused person's wishes and privacy. The overall aim of the service is to stop the unwanted behaviour and ensure the person's safety and well-being while supporting or restoring relationships. Supports may be offered to stop the unwanted behaviour and ensure the safety of the older person. This might include home support services, counselling, mediation and conflict resolution, family meetings, monitoring, daycare and respite. These services play an important role in helping those who suffer abuse and their families. The services are designed to help older people become more independent, particularly from their abusers. They offer older people options, keeping them connected to the community, lessening carer stress and enabling the relationship with their abuser to be maintained if wanted. Where needed, services can also be provided to those perpetrating the abuse. The majority of older people in Ireland are living fulfilling, rewarding lives. A small number are at risk of abuse or are being abused. Elder abuse, when it happens, can be hidden. Abuse is likely to escalate unless it is stopped. But early intervention can lead to more supports and a better quality of life for both parties. If you are concerned or affected by the issues raised in this programme, please contact the HSE. Call save the HSE information line on 1850 24 1850, Monday to Saturday, 8am to 8pm. This confidential service will provide you with the details of the HSE staff in your local area who can assist you. Or visit the website www.hse.ie or email info at hse.ie